countries scramble to remove diplomats citizens from Sudan. Battles raging in Sudan have sparked several evacuation operations to rescue foreign citizens or embassy staff by road, air and sea. The main airport in the capital Khartoum has been the site of heavy fighting and is under the control of the paramilitary rapid forces that is battling the army. Some evacuations are taking place from Port Sudan on the Red Sea, an 850 kilometers drive from Khartoum. Here is an overview of what various nations were doing in efforts to take stranded citizens to safety. Saud Arabia led the first reported successful evacuation with naval operation, picking up more than 150 people, including foreign diplomats and officials from Port Sudan on Saturday. Riyadh announced the safe arrival of 91 Saudi citizens and around 66 nationals from 12 other countries, Kuwait, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Tunisia, Pakistan, India, Bulgaria, Bangladesh, the Philippines, Canada, and Burkina Faso. United States on Sunday, the U.S. military sent three Chinook helicopters to evacuate our American embassy staff from Khartoum. More than 100 U.S. forces took part in the rescue to extract fewer than 100 people, which saw the choppers flying from Djibouti, uh, Djibouti to Ethiopia to Sudan, where they stayed on the ground for less than an hour. Several thousand U.S. citizens, including dual nationals, are thought to remain in the country. France, around 100 people of multiple nationalities have been evacuated from Sudan on a, fr on a fast French flight out of the country, a French foreign minister official said on Sunday, with a second flight of another 100 people planned to leave Sunday evening. Britain. The British Army has evacuated UK Embassy staff and their families in a complex and rapid operation, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said in a tweet. Turkey Ankara began operations at dawn on Sunday, taking some of its estimated 600 nationals by road from two Khartoum districts and the southern city of Wad Madani. But plans were postponed from one site in Khartoum after explosions near a mosque des uh, designated as the assembly area, the embassy said. EU, Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, Italy, Greece. The European Union said Sunday there were efforts to coordinate evacuations. Seven EU members have missions in Sudan. The Netherlands Foreign Minister Wok uh, Wopki uh, said a handful of Dutch people had been evacuated on a French aircraft with another group leaving Khartoum by road in a UN convoy. Germany began evacuating citizens of the defense and the foreign ministries tweeted Sunday following an aborted attempt to transfer 150 Germans on Wednesday. Sudanese defense minister uh, told AFP on Sunday 140 to 150 to 100 140 to 100 and 50 soldiers were mobilized to evacuate diplomats and other Swedish nationals. Italy's foreign minister Antonio Tajani said Rome was planning to evacuate about 200 people including Italians, Swiss and representatives of the Vatican in a military operation on Sunday. The Greek foreign ministry said a first group of evacue evacuees has left Sudan with the assistance of, of France. The Irish government is deploying 12 defense personnel to, G to Djibouti uh, to help evacuate 150 citizens in Sudan, a foreign ministry statement said. Egypt, Jordan, Iraq, Lebanon, Libya, Tunisia.
Egypt's foreign ministry said Sunday 436 citizens had been evacuated by land having previously said over 10,000 Egyptians live in the neighboring country. A member of Cairo's diplomatic mission was previously shot. The ministry said, without providing further details, Egypt's military on Wednesday evacuated 177 of its soldiers from Sudan. Jordanian Foreign Ministry spokesman Sinan Majali said Saturday that Amman had begun the evacuation of some 300 Jordanian citizens, adding there was continuous cooperation with the, e, with the UAE and Saudi Arabia. Iraqi embassy staff left Khartoum on Saturday. Foreign Ministry spokesman Ahmed Al Safal said, while on uh, Sunday, 14 citizens arrived in ports in, in Port Sudan. An Iraqi was killed in Khartoum due to current events. Safar told AFP Sunday without providing further details. Rebanon said 60 citizens had also left Khartoum by road ahead of their evacuation by sea. The Arabian embassy in Khartoum on Friday said it had evacuated 83 Arabians from the capital, taking them to Port Sudan. A Tunisia embassy has announced an evacuation has announced an evacuation operation planned for Monday to extract citizens remaining in the country after some had left abroad Saudi ships. China, India, Japan, South Korea and Indonesia. Other foreign countries preparing evacuations include South Korea, Japan, which have uh, deployed forces to nearby countries. India said it had two aircraft planes on standby in Saudi Arabia and a Navy ship and arrived in Port Sudan, but any evacuations would depend on the security situation according to our foreign ministry statement. The Sudanese army has said it is also a co coordinating efforts to evacuate diplomats from China. Indonesia said 43 citizens were sheltering inside the embassy compound in Khartoum. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.